Hello everyone, what's up? It's Monkazunky, and I feel like we should really do some Slayer today because, well, people want the Slayer video, and uh, who am I to disagree with them? So at the moment, my task is, let's see, uh, Dark Beast, I believe? Come on, no lag. Dark Beast, yes, 186 more to go. And you may be looking at my inventory and saying, what are you doing? You look ill equipped for a Dark Beast task. And uh, today, in this video, I plan on showing you guys the power of this, the Demon Horn Necklace. It's amazing. <clears throat> it basically gives free unlimited prayer for an entire Dark Beast task, and I also brought a unicorn just in case it's needed, although uh, last time I did Dark Beast it was not needed at all. So, uh, I can use tur or Soul Split and I think that's Anguish? Yeah, the range prayer? Anguish. I was right. I finally actually have begun to learn the names of these new prayers um, after months, but what you can do is turn this on, and every time that they drop, every time you kill a dark beast, it drops a bone, a bone crusher, and the bone crusher crushes it, and it gets 200 free prayer points per uh, dark beast kill. So I will show you guys now exactly what that looks like. Let's go. I'll use abilities just uh, while I'm recording, and as soon as I stop recording, I might not use abilities. Haven't quite decided yet, but that might be the case. You actually do kill these things much faster using abilities, so that might be a good idea. Of course, I'm using my handy-dandy charm collector, so if you haven't seen that in action, you'll be able to see that now. It's quite quite overpowered, and yet uh, I love it. Um, I, I absolutely love the charm collector. It's just so nice. It makes... Uh, it gives laziness a new meaning <laughs> during Slayer tasks because you really don't have to pick up anything uh, other than charms. And Dark Beasts really rarely drop anything at all, so it's just so nice being able to use the Charm Collector. Let's dead shot this guy. Boom. Uh, that's not going to one-hit him. I forgot how much HP Dark Beasts have. So, um, I haven't done any slaying for quite a long time. Uh, Dark Beasts are a good task because they give a pretty good amount of Slayer XP per kill. I think it's, yeah, 358 XP per kill. That's pretty decent. And they don't take very long to kill, if you use abilities, that is. So, um, this task will be, like, uh, 30, well, probably closer to 45 minutes to complete, and you get, like, 60k Slayer for it. Uh, I'm not, I know I'm not killing them at the most efficient method. I think it's a bit faster if you use Chaotic Crossbows. Um, I have enough DG tokens to buy Chaotic Crossbows. I just don't really know if I want to go in that direction yet, because, well, I have my Royal Crossbow, and it's served me well, so I'm not sure if it's a good idea to part ways with the Royal Crossbow quite yet. Because I do enjoy using the thing. It's it's quite good, especially against like Armadil and Incendiary Shot. That's like my favorite ability. When it hits, boom! Oh, three thousand. It can. I've seen Incendiary Shot hit up to eight thousand. Uh, I can't remember what I hit eight thousand on. It was like QBD or something like that. But anyway, we're getting kind of pounded right now, so it might. Ooh, we're dying. But that's just because I had three of them. Well, four of them on me at the same time. And it also might be a good idea to probably make the left click option the healing aura scroll so it's easier to heal that way. I'll just quickly finish off these last couple dark beasts and then change to left click as healing aura. Uh, they do hit pretty hard even on Armadil. So as you can see, I mean I've already killed a fair amount of dark beasts, probably like 10, not a whole lot obviously. But I've already killed several Dark Beasts, and I haven't drank a single dose of prayer yet, and I'm still, you know, nearly full prayer. That's just because you get um, 200 prayer points per Dark Beast kill, so it is quite good. You get a lot of prayer points extremely fast, and I think I might want to switch out one of these abilities for a range threshold that might help us a little bit. What's a good range threshold? Snapshot? Um, yeah, we could try that. I think I want to try... Hmm. I'm not very good with all the threshold abilities yet because I, I don't use range very often and when I do, uh, I usually just use range in DG and I don't use abilities because I use range for rushing floors because it's like the fastest way to rush floors. So I'm not very good with the range abilities as of yet. Uh, I know a lot more about the melee and mage abilities because those are the ones that I typically use. Um, the only place you really use range abilities ever is, uh, I guess, in DG if you're ranging, which I usually don't, or at Arma, which I have not been to Arma for a long time, and I just realized I forgot my gem bag, so that's a big fail, because Dark Beasts do drop a fair amount of gems, so it's usually a good thing to take a gem bag with you. I guess I'll put Bombardment on. Mm, we don't need the home teleport at the moment, so... Ooh, loop half. I'll take that. 
But, yeah, I did forget the gem bag, which was a huge fail, just collecting this anagogic ore pretty fast. Um, so, I haven't been slain, and I think the main reason for that is because um, I really do want to get the max cape. I have been focusing on, on that a lot lately. I know I made a video about agility earlier today. I have not done a lot of agility today. I did about two hours worth, um, and I'm 150k till 98 agility. Uh, I will get that today, so that's something to be... Something to look forward to. Um, and then agility past that, I'm going to run out of agility pendants pretty soon. And agility is going to get excruciatingly painful after that. I did try to leech a barbarian horn, but that did not turn out the way that I had hoped it would. So it looks like I'm probably going to have to just train agility legit all all the rest of the way to 99, which is uh, like 70k an hour at max, which is obviously very slow. Uh, and it's hard to get at max, you have to be paying attention the entire time, so it's much more realistic to gain around 60k, 65k an hour at most. And that's just so slow. So um, hopefully I'll be able to get through it. Uh, I will have my trusty jack of trades to, re to rely on to gain a bit of extra XP. And I'll also have those penguin points, which um, should reset soon. I'm not exactly sure when they reset, but it should be pretty soon. And I'll use all that on agility, obviously. I use all my free XP on agility. It's worth it. And um, I think it, Jags has said something about like reworking agility sometime in the near future, which I'm not too happy about, because by the time they rework it, I'll probably already have... An, oh, just hit 4,000. That was pretty nice. But I'll probably already have a 99 by the time they work, rework agility. So... Um, also, if you're just watching this video and you're just like seeing how fast I'm killing these things and getting XP, hopefully this is motivating you to do some Slayer if you're not already 99. Uh, Slayer is really, really fun in EOC. I would say um, I don't usually use abilities for tasks. I usually use momentum, and it is a lot slower if you use momentum rather than abilities, although it's, it's still bearable. Like this task, I would say it's probably around... Um, maybe close to even 100k Slayer an hour if you use abilities and if you don't it's probably closer to like 60 70k an hour Slayer uh, it is a lot faster if you use abilities I'm not sure if they buffed them recently or nerfed uh, momentum because it seems like when momentum first came out it was nearly as good as using abilities and now there's like a huge huge uh, gap between the two of how effective they are but Dark Beast is one of my favorite tasks and I think the main reason for that is because of this thing, the Demon Horn Necklace, just gives you unlimited free prayer. And you can do this on all tasks that drop big bones. So um, it works for Aqua Knights, it works for Fire Giants, it works for these. I can't remember if Kurdel, um assigns anything else that drops big bones. Ooh, Ferocious Ring. That's actually my 150th Ferocious Ring, believe it or not. That's it, number 150 right there in the bank. And uh, I have used a few Ferocious Rings in the past, which I really do regret because it's just it's so cool having a large stack of them because they're untradeable and somewhat rare. Um, someday I'll probably have like a thousand Ferocious Rings and I'll just look beast in the bank. But anyway, um, Slayer-wise in the future, until I at least get Max Cape, I'm probably not going to be doing too much Slayer. I might do a task here and there. I might even have a day where I'm just feeling really bored of skilling and decide to do Slayer all day. Although, this isn't going to become like a regular occurrence, unfortunately, because I know Slayer is way more fun to watch than just some random skilling. I personally really enjoy Slayer videos. Lately, uh, I've been looking up a few Slayer videos from like pre-EOC times, because I don't really enjoy watching 07 skate videos all that much, but I've been looking up a few um, Slayer videos from like a year plus ago. I had to delete most of mine. Unfortunately, when I got partnership, uh, I had to delete a ton of videos because they had copyright claims against them. Uh, no copyright strikes, just copyright claims, but those aren't allowed with the type of partnership I got, so I had to take a whole ton of them down, which was really unfortunate, and unfortunate because it's kind of cool to just go back over your really old old videos like two years later and watch how much of a noob you were. I watched my stats from like one of the earliest videos I ever made, and it was insane. Like, every single level I have has gone up by 30, it seems like, or more. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to like it. And if you want me to do more, uh, how you can convince me to do more Slayer videos is by joining my friend's chat and by pleading for more. Uh, I'm somewhat hoping that not too many people want to see more Slayer videos because I really do need to get back to skilling. I'm going to finish this Dark Beast task first, obviously, but uh, as soon as I'm done with this Dark Beast task, I really do need to go back to skilling. Uh, I don't need to waste too much time here since I'm not gaining any sort of XP or money that I need. 
But um, yeah, if enough people do ask for more Slayer videos, I will make them. I just figured I'd make this because I didn't want, I wanted to make another video today, but I couldn't think of anything to record besides agility, and I already made one agility video today, and I think two was just way too much, way too much to ask you guys to watch. So anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more uploads possibly Slayer, hopefully not. Hopefully I can uh, convince myself to go back to agility and grind out that 99. Uh, anyway, that's all for this video, and yeah, farewell.